Hello guys, uh, happy new year, um, if indeed it is new year for you, and thanks to all my new subscribers that have been uh, subscribing recently, I've got loads now from all over the world, it's fantastic actually, um, and I'm going to try and make a concerted effort to speak a little bit more clearly, because um, there are, uh, having looked through you know, quite a few people's profiles that have been um, subscribing, um, quite a uh, mixed bunch of people watching from all over the world so let's just see if I can try and keep my Cockney accent to a minimum um, okay so today um, also oh, uh, before I forget Facebook come on over to Facebook there is a button on the um, channel page with a little Facebook icon on it click that and it will bring you over to Facebook like the page and I'm trying to grow a community there where people can share their problems inspiration projects um, and even perhaps uh, give me an indication of the type of tutorials you would like to see so definitely come over I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to grow that side of things okay so today I'm just gonna really quickly look at a couple of tiny little things inside V-Ray which may not be um, evident and especially if you've just started using V-Ray so in the scene I've got a spoon which is low poly and that's just being lit by a HDR, a HDR light on a dome light but we're not going to worry about light at the moment what we're going to be looking at is a few attributes, V-Ray attributes um, for the mesh itself so let's get down into this, we can see that it's a spoon uh, it's very low poly so we can hit free and it will subdivide it and we could render that out but it might um, take some time and I just want to be able to work in my scene with some uh, low poly geometry so that things are speedy and V-Ray's got some handy little tools for this so firstly if we wanted to um, uh, add a bevel attribute all the way around this spoon we could go up into the polygon menu and create a bevel but again uh, why do we want to work with extra polygons when V-Ray can do this for us for free? So the first thing we want to do is uh, click on the shape. I'm going to go into attributes, V-Ray, and we're going to click on round edges. Okay, and that's going to give us an extra V-Ray attribute at the bottom of our shape. We can see the radius is set quite high. But I'll just render it and show you what uh, this high setting is going to do. And it will differ from object to object, obviously. So that's given us a very strong bevel and really sort of ruined uh, our shape. So we can pull that down, hit render again. You can see that bevel is still too wide. And so let's pull it down some more. There we go, we're starting to get a soft edge there. Yeah, so we can see that that's uh, doing a nice little job for us. So next up, um, we can add another attribute to this to smooth the uh, geometry. So if we go back into attributes, and we go to V-Ray, and we're going to click on this subdivision attribute, um, and the subdivision is going to turn up Well, it's here. So if I hit record, uh, record, um, render. It's going to smooth our mesh out. So we can get rid of any, any others. Say we, now that it's smoothed, we don't want the round edges anymore. So they're gone. And let's just render it. There we go and you got that for free and now we can continue to work in Maya um, in a, a low poly sort of way and optimizing the sort of speed of which we work at um, obviously this works on all objects and just have a play around with it it's a really really handy little attribute from inside V-Ray take care guys speak to you soon